Hey YouTube, just wanted to uh, give you another update on what's going on with my build. Uh, hopefully you can hear me and understand me okay. I've, I've had a cold for about five days now and I've been eager to get out here and keep working. So here I am. I've come out here a couple times here and there, even when I had uh, when I was worse than I am now. But uh, it was, it's been pretty rough and, and stupid cold. So if you guys have seen in the news what's going on, but I live in New York and we've had like record cold temperatures. And yesterday with the wind, uh, with the wind chill, it was negative 22 degrees. Uh, that was a, that was late evening. And then by nighttime, I tried coming out here once it was negative 30 and without the wind chill, it was like negative eight or something like that. It's, it sucked. I had, I had the, uh, the salamander over there going and it barely made a dent, but I just had to get out here and, and tinker. I got sick of laying in bed. Uh, so I've got a couple things to show you. So I'll spin the camera around here in a second. All right, most recognizable, you're gonna see the fridge right there, front and center. Uh, but before I talk about that, I thought I'd show you some of the other details that I, I've been working on. So uh, this rear frame, I wanted to encase in fiberglass and get this protected uh, because I have a light bar to put right here. And with, with pretty much, if you've ever built anything like this before, you you realize there's usually something you have to do before you can do something else. And that's pretty much the story of this whole build. It's like, okay, I have to do this before I can do this. I can do this, but then I have to do that before I can do this. And it's just been nonstop that there's always something else I have to quite, I have to get done before I can do something else that maybe I really eager <laughs> to get done. So I wanted to wrap up all of the electrical uh, and then on the back side, what you'll see, it's it's still a mess. Like all this stuff is uh, taped off. It's nice. Um, I, I know where everything is and uh, it's, it's pretty much ready for fiberglass really. Uh, but before I wrap the whole thing in fiberglass, uh, besides the temperature <laughs> right now, uh, I wanted to get all of the wiring done which includes on the side over here. But before I can get this wiring done over here, I have to fit, figure out and finish uh, my rear light situation. So, oh, sorry, so sniffly. It's so shitty out here. Uh, if you see my other videos, you might have seen I have this light strip down here, and it's a 60-inch light bar that uh, you put on trucks, like those tailgate ones, and it actually has sequential lights on each side. Um, another thing I really wanted to have was the pulse for brake. So when that idiot behind you doesn't realize that you're braking, it has a couple bright pulses of uh, red light and then it's on solid. Just a, a little extra detail of uh, uh, just to get these people, uh, people's attentions. And uh, so the plan was I was going to keep, I, I was going to have that one there. And then in the rear door, which I've talked about before, uh, Google trailer tails for semi trucks. And that's pretty much what I'm going to have back here for aerodynamic purposes. And then in the center, I was going to have, uh, so it's going to stick out like two feet. And somewhere in the middle here, I was going to have some more trailer lights for the rear. Uh, but then I'm like, I'm running wires from the junction over there because all the wires for the trailer lights come out over here and that's where they meet the light bar here uh, and i was running lights over here and then i was going to go up and the door is going to hinge on this side it's going to open to the right i'm like that's just that's a lot and i wasn't quite sold on any of the rear lights that i saw so i just bought another one of these light bars it's right over here uh it's the actual bar uh, a lot of them are just double stick, ta double stick tape and they're not solid, but I really wanted something solid and strong. Excuse me. So that one is going to go across the very top. So it's going to sit right here basically. And then uh, the door is going to come up just below it. And so before I could finish the wiring over there and wire the light bar in, uh, I had to make sure the fiberglass underneath it was done. It, it was, underneath it was done because uh, I, on this other side over here, I'm going to have to. 
uh, run the wires here and then down and it's going to join with the trailer lights that are all right here. So all of these wires will get tucked in. Uh, right now I had tape over it, but I had to pull it all off once I decided to go this route. But I think having two of the light bars that are exactly the same, they're both sequential, uh, they both have the stop, there's high, there's low, uh, I think that'll be really good for visibility. I also went, if you've seen my other videos, with more side lights than you really need legally. Uh, so I have a side light here, here, and then up there, and then right over there on both sides, of course. So, yeah, there's going to be lots of visibility. I definitely want to be seen uh, while I'm driving down the road so nobody's stupid and, and hits me or anything. Uh, so that's why I had to wrap it all in fiberglass over the last few days. Uh, unfortunately, it was this crazy cold spell that uh, I just had the heater going nonstop 24-7 to make sure this all cured. And it's still a little tacky. I had the fire or the heater plug. Uh, the furnace thingy <laughs> going earlier, sorry. Uh, and yeah, I turned it off so I could take this video. All right, so that's out of the way. That's one thing I have going on. Uh, the other thing is uh, my Dometic fridge showed up, which I'm excited about. Got a smoking deal on eBay. It was uh, listed as an open box because the box is a little banged up, but it works perfectly. The box is still sealed. Uh, I did a lot of research, and this just seems like a, a really good fridge, and it's got really good space. This is the CF50, so it has really a good amount of space. Right there are the handles that came with it. Uh, really strong, really nice handles, but they stuck out. Uh, I'll post a picture in the video. Uh, but they stuck out like three inches on each side, and that was really going to cut into the space that I have on both sides. So this space, I'm kind of envisioning maybe like a, a, a sink. I'm not sure about including a sink, but I did just score this at the local Home Depot, uh, and it does fit right here perfectly. Um, this was like 50 bucks. It was $80, marked down to 50 and I go to cash out, and they said, oh, it's that's only 11 I'm like, well, sweet. Even if I don't use it, it's uh, it's worth it. So I'm thinking about putting that right here. Um, I could have a slide out. I'm not sure if I really want to add the weight or do all that. Um, so probably just stationary right there. And then on that side, I'm going to have some drawers and cabinets and stuff like that. Um, just areas to hold stuff. And then... The countertop is going to be just over top here, and that's actually the foam back there for the countertop. So I'm going to have a foam base, and then I'm going to fiberglass it all to make it strong. Um, and so with this, I built, it's not quite done yet. I've only mounted the back of the sliders, but this whole thing is slides out, so I can just give it a little pull. So the front of the sliders isn't screwed down quite yet. I just wanted to make sure this all worked. Uh, I built the frame, got some extra room in here in the front for plates or cups or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna have maybe some kind of decorative piece of wood on the front and also a little better of a grab handle. And then um, got it mounted back there. But another one of the things I've worked on was I wrapped all of these in fiberglass. It's Messy, I haven't cleaned anything since doing this last couple days. So this, the whole front and the back side is wrapped in fiberglass. I didn't go quite as low with that one. And again, it's not pretty tough, but um, it's strong. Like if I if I shake uh, either of these, it moves the whole trailer. So it's, it's on there pretty good. And, and it's holding this fridge empty. Uh, it was like 45 pounds. And I have uh, quarter inch bolts. You can see one right there. I have one on each side. And it's holding this from tipping forward. Um, so yeah, so it's it's looking pretty good. Pretty confident about it. And of course, everything, the goal is to be lightweight because obviously this is the rear, which is not where you want weight in a trailer, but I'm also gonna be pulling it with an EV uh, so I really need it and want it to be as lightweight as possible. Uh, all right, so I guess that's about it for this section here. 
I'll take you up front to <clears throat> show you the plumbing that I've been working on. I've been having some issues up there that I'll uh, show you next. And that's just my little Caleb shelf for my for my little guy. So that's probably where he's going to be sleeping. But uh, I'm going to go up front and show you that now. All right, I'm up front, and here is my little Caleb shelf. And you just look that up. I have uh, double wall insulation. This is going to be fiberglass as well to make that strong. Uh, I can actually just pull this out. I'll put that right over here for now. So I've been working on the uh, cooling system in here, just like in my last video, or one of the last videos. And I'm having issues with leaks, unfortunately. This junction that goes to the adapter that I have up top, I'll show you that in a second. You might, you might have seen it before. But in a Tesla car, when this battery pack is bolted up, it's bolted just straight up. And there is this adapter that's bolted to the car that has a really strong spring that just kind of accepts the battery, uh, these uh, adapters as it comes up. So the center gets depressed. So on both, you can see the fluid in there. So I did get coolant in there, so it is full. So this thing just pushes down. The outside of this stays stationary, does, does not move whatsoever. It's really strong plastic. And when the adapter goes down, uh, it just pushes those things down and makes a connection. Uh, I also have a tiny, tiny little leak over there. I'm going to take off one of those. Uh, I don't like those style clamps, uh, but I'm going to take one of those off and then use the hose clamp and make sure it's tighter. But I have a tiny little leak under that because uh, that type of uh, clamp is not quite getting it tight enough. And then I have a mystery leak right down in here. Uh, can't really yeah you can kind of see some fluid down there i can't find anything that is wet anywhere like i i it's and it's of course a, the worst spot to f try to track down a leak i suspect that maybe that needs to be tightened down a little bit more but man i i've stuck my fingers back there i cannot find where that leak is so uh messing around with that i'll show you the Tesla thing that I'm talking about. So this is it. So this goes straight down onto those two plugs, those two things that I just showed you. And I built this adapter or this uh, bracket and I bolt this through the battery pack, well, through one of the existing mounting brackets for the battery pack. And I use that hole for, I think it's a three eighths inch bolt. And I bolt it through, and it tightens right down. I mean, it gets right on there, does not move. But because it's just like plastic on plastic, it really doesn't seal. So I took it all out, uh, I took it out, added some silicone caulk to it, and it helped. I, I thought it was solved, but then I read the pumps running for a while, and I saw a little trickle of fl uh, fluid coming out, and. I believe in doing things right. I want to make sure it's fixed, and I don't want to have to deal with that when I'm on the road ever. Uh, so I took it all out, cleaned off all of the silicone off of this, uh, off of the uh, the parts down there, and now I'm looking at other solutions. Uh, I have some uh, really strong adhesive urethane that I'm thinking about using, but once that's on there, that part is never coming off ever again. So <laughs> I'd have to really make sure that it was sealed and it worked. Um, the, the big issue that I'm trying to be careful of is that I don't want to use too much sealant too high on this part right there because if any of it gets down into that hole, it would easily clog all those little coolant lines that go through the battery pack. So. Uh, yeah, really working on that, trying to figure out what's best to, to seal this connection. And yeah, so if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. I don't think anybody's really used the whole existing battery pack like I am. So I'm not sure if anybody 
has any real world experience with it, but I am all ears if anybody has any ideas uh, any ideas on that. Um, all right, I guess that's about it. I am freezing my ass off, and my cold is not being friendly right now. I really feel like shit, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, oh, also, uh, I think you guys have been sharing my videos, or something's been happening, because the last few days, uh, I've been having like seven, eight new subscribers. It was like three days in a row that I, I kept getting a string of emails saying, oh, so-and-so just subscribed, so... Thank you, everybody who's joining the channel and liking my content and watching uh, all of this stuff. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying it. And I never ask anybody to to share or subscribe, but feel free to. I mean, I think this is pretty cool stuff. I, I like it, and it, I'm surprised. I already am up to 300 something subscribers. If it continues to grow, that grow, that's awesome. And uh, I just, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. So, yeah, I guess feel free to share, subscribe, and comment. But I'm glad to see you guys here enjoying this. And, uh, all right, that's it for all this time. I'm going inside. I, it's cold. <laughs> Bye, guys.